Cool. Rep is on the increase. Statistics that we have now is staggering. It's also underreported. There are different reasons that people engage in rape. Some of them liken it to indecent dressing. What is indecent in dressing? Or how can we make reference to six months old baby, two year old, three year old being raped? Apart from that, some of the people that were brought to our office also engage in rape because of spiritual reasons. A 41 year old man that was HIV positive said they had two daughters, nine and eleven. But that they happily told him that if he could sleep with a virgin, that he'd be cured of his HIV. Now the man slept with a four year old baby. What makes one think that defiling a minor can result in a cure? That means there must be a change of mindset. Apart from that, impunity must become. We also see people who for ritual purposes, engage in the defilement of minor because such a person wants to get rich. Since several rape cases have been reported, we've had about 10 boys that have been defiled, young boys, for different reasons too even orphanage. You see that some of these people that perpetuate these heinous acts are very close relations. Those ones that the little girls will trust. Some fathers even rape their own daughters. It is mind-boggling. It is terribly worrisome. It is degrading, dehumanizing, demeaning. There comes a time in the life of any society where people must rise up in unity to say enough is enough and that time is now a law was passed about 10 years ago in terms of rape and they just concluded national conference delegates were so angered that they demand, some of them demanded for castration of anyone that perpetrates in the heinous acts. But it was moderated to read life imprisonment. The lower house has passed the law. We appeal and want the upper chambers to do the same. But anyone that perpetrates the heinous acts must be brought to book. The long arm of the law must take its course because. Impunity is on the rise and the inability to, to apprehend or painstakingly try those to perpetuate the heinous acts and bring them to book. The inability to do that have been building the perpetrators. We will also want everyone to support the Stand to End Grip campaign. I'm a director, I'm on the board. The initiators, the drivers, those steering the ship of stand to end rape campaign. They are the best and the brightest. They have the passion, they have the good track record. And we also appeal that people could, should support them in any way, either time, either volunteering, and several other ways. And I've told them that I am ready to volunteer all in ensuring that rape is brought to an end and want all of us in this country. There's strength in unity. It's a global thing. Nigeria must try as much as possible to reduce the rape to the barest minimum. 
and is the institutions involved must be strengthened. A judiciary, justice delayed is justice denied. A judiciary must ensure that they fast track the trial of those that perpetrate the heinous acts. Our police, people go to the police station and they are they are good. Some of them are unnecessarily made jest of. Some of them that are victims, the police, some policemen will touch them. I think our police, there must be a change of mindset. Also, apart from that, anyone that is raped or if one's child is raped, one must not clean off the evidence. It's going to be sticky and messy, but that person should carry such a child or if, it's the, if the victim is old enough, should go to a government hospital and let the person be examined and the case will be documented before the person cleans up. The moment that person cleans up, the evidence has been destroyed. All of us must rise up. We must never tolerate rape. We must never be on lookout. For France Fanon said that every onlooker is either a coward or a traitor. It might be somebody else's daughter, child. No one knows whose turn it will be. Let us stop agonizing. Let us organize for change. And that is what the stand to end rape campaign is all about. We must support this laudable initiative.